Electronic Church of God of Arizona and the Lord's Care Ministry. Welcome to the Lord's Care Ministry, the second work day of the week that we will call a Monday. It happens to be July 23rd of the year 2012. The month is just about gone. How about that? The year is moving right along. And we're well past the middle of the year, the way our calendar reads. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's care ministry. I'm here to search for knowledge and truth. Remember, knowledge and truth, that's what we're looking for. Day 205 of the year 2012. Today's little study is again about sanctification. Sanctification, brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down that we give you so that you can go back, study the whole context at your own leisure. Keep in mind, sanctification or satisfy. Look it up in your Bibles. Look it up in Strong's and get the true meaning of it. Okay, you can use the pause button down here in the corner, brethren, to start and stop this video study as we go along so that you'll be able to open up your own Bible, read chapter and verse right along with us. Okay, let's get right on over into sanctification. And to do that today, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 30. But of him, you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us sanctification. The life side, the mystery of sanctification is that the perfect qualities of Jesus Christ is imparted as a gift to me, not gradually, but instantly once I enter by faith into the realization that he became for me sanctification. Sanctification means nothing less. The holiness of Jesus becoming mine and being exhibited in my life. The most wonderful secret of living a holy life does not lie in imitating Jesus. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 27, but in letting the perfect qualities of Jesus exhibit themselves in my human flesh. Sanctification is Christ in you. It is a wonderful life that is imparted to me in sanctification. Imparted by faith as a sovereign gift of God's grace. I am willing for God to make sanctification as real in me as it is in his word. Sanctification means the impartation of the holy qualities of Jesus Christ to me. It is the gift, his patience, love, holiness, faith, purity, and godliness that is exhibited in and through every sanctified soul. Sanctification is not drawing from Jesus the power to be holy is drawing from Jesus the holiness that is exhibited in him and that he now exhibits in me. Sanctification is an impartation, not an imitation. Imitation is something altogether different. The perfect of everything in Jesus Christ and the mystery of sanctification. It is that the perfect qualities of Jesus are at my disposal. Consequently, I slowly but surely begin my life a life of inexpressible order, soundness, and holiness. In first Peter chapter one and verse five, kept by the power of God. Brother, I want you to go back into Strong's or whatever book you have and look up the word sanctify. 
You can find it used in Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. But look it up in the Hebrew and the Greek. And you'll find that it means to, that you are set apart, made holy. And there's only one way to do that. And that is to follow the narrow path of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, I am poor and weak. I have nothing worth my giving or your receiving. My best is given to me by you. My holiest is ruined by sin. Take my bankrupt soul into eternal partnership with you and say to me, all that I have is yours. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 19 we can read, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Boy, what's going on here? Pardon me again. Come, sing the gospel's joyful sound. <coughs> I don't know what come over me. In first, no, pardon me, in Titus chapter 2 and verse 11, the grace of God that is bringing salvation hath appeared. <coughs> pardon me again to all men. Boy, what happened? I'm sorry to break up this by going this route of coughing and sneezing. Must be the allergy. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men. That make void the word of God. And brethren, do not. Follow the tradition of men. It leads on the broad path to destruction. Brethren, if you want the Father and the Son's Holy Spirit to come within you, get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and the Son to bring their spirit within you. To sanctify you. Drive away all the traditions of men. It will strengthen your faith. Brother, while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of that love letter that was given to you. And that love letter is in your own Bible. Brethren, with that, we're going to close for today and have a few more coughs and sneeze and get over this. You have a great day. Email me at 473 at cox.net or check into my webpage at wwwfcg 82 dot com backslash h2 dot htm thank you